This is Twit. At what HDMI 2.0 really sure. means. And we have a we have a diagram or a, a list anyway that will show uh, the various. Here we go. Well, here's the the key key features of version 2.0, which we can't really call 2.0, but we're going to call it that anyway. And those are the widths. When again, so I think the first two are not quite ubiquitous, but that's what people are going to drive towards. But the caveat is that. To really go to the 600 megahertz and 18 uh, gigabits per second, that's where you're going to need new silicon. So those iterations of this 2.0 will require new chips. Uh, the other things, it's it's somewhat to be determined because it depends on how they're implemented. So it's it, it's still pretty squishy. Exactly. It's pretty squishy, and that's the weird thing. Um, and, and each the of these is, is important in its own right. Remember, at some point along the line, uh, SACD capability was added. There are some that that's important to and, and some not. Yeah, yeah. But, for example, we went from eight channels of audio to 32 channels in uh, HDMI 2.0. So, uh, you know, we could, we could in fact... depend on other factors, though. It's right. 32 discrete channels. That, that, that's, you know, a topic for another day, perhaps. Right. Um... Uh, a wider color gamut, which is uh, ITU Rec BT 2020, which we're going to talk about which is later. Really important. Yeah, which is really important. Uh, we're going to get to that a little later. Um, the the big question, though, is you, you mentioned you mentioned just a moment ago, and this is really a key point that I want to make sure everybody understands. HDMI 2.0 can mean different things. It, it it's really HDMI Correct. with one thing or another or one thing or another. If you add certain things, if you say with X and Y, you can in fact do it with current silicon, the chips that are in the displays right now. All it needs is a firmware update. That's the general understanding. That's what, uh, it's my belief. And again, some of this is shrouded in manufacturer mystery. But uh, <laughs> at Cedia, we were both at the JVC press conference. They announced they're going to have an upgrade for some of their uh, 4K projectors. Sony has announced that for the earlier, uh, or I'm sorry, the current. In fact, there's a good way to to sort of capsulize this, the latest Sony 4K sets will be able to be upgradable via firmware. The right. earlier ones will require a hardware change. Right, and and then some of the other features of this new version of HDMI will require a hardware change, of actually Indeed. new chips in order to implement them. And there are no HDMI true HDMI 2.0 chips yet because the spec was only finalized, what, a couple months ago? Uh, it, it was announced and uh, apparently approved right before IFA and CD at the end of August and early September. I, right. I, I think it's fair to say that the uh, chip manufacturers, and there are uh, two primary manufacturers of these chips uh, and then some other specialists, were maybe, let's say, about 75% of the way along. They didn't not do any work waiting for this standard to be finished. Yeah, they, so uh, the question now is that they have the final test, the final specs, how long will it take to finalize the chips, take them uh, to compliance testing? And the compliance spec isn't done yet. So uh -huh. that's another little detail. Uh, so but they can't, they can't a, even verify them at this point. Yeah, yeah. Well, not only can you not verify them, it was only within this past week that Quantum Data, which is one of the primary manufacturers of the test gear for this, announced the availability of the test suite. So not only do you have to wait for the standard to test to the standard, but then the test equipment has to be updated so that it knows what to look for. So that, right. that those are just some of the sort of crazy moving parts in this whole, you know, cogs and wheels thing. Uh, 